Have you guys ever heard of photo fog? It's this environment in a can, it's photography, video, haze on the go. You just shake it up, spray it, and now you have like a cinematic whatever. Totally safe indoors. It only has mineral oil, propane, and butane. Totally safe. <laughs> That's what it says over here. Uh, danger, extremely flammable. Keep away from fire uh, and don't spray directly onto your face. But anyway, I, I saw this in a video and I thought I would try it. So I bought that from Amazon and I also bought uh, puzzles as a concept. Again, guys, why I recommend stock photography. If you haven't done anything before, take some photos, upload them, see how they do. See if you like them. I used uh, an orange light and the blue light to help with the composition, opposite colors and the color scheme here. So it helps tie everything together. And now because I had the, the fog, I wanted to get a light beam. Now, let me see if I can see it with this other bright light. That's an LED light. So you can kind of, you can see the beam, you can see the light, kind of, uh, a straight beam like this. I ended up using the flashlight. You can see where the beam goes. And that is kind of what I was going for with the puzzles. It was a great, it was, see, now it's got environment. You can see the light. You can see where the, if we have like an open window or a person or any kind of shoot like this, it lasted a lot longer than I expected. But let me show you some of these photos. I was using the macro lens uh, in the studio over here. So I do have natural light because this is a tent. <laughs> And then I added these lights just for color. So I put it really close to the props, to the, the thing. And then I had a glass tabletop, just a glass part. And by putting the flashlight underneath, you get that effect, that glow. Without the fog, you don't see the light. By adding the fog, you get to see that light, that glow, that effect. When I say numbers are really important when you shoot for stock, I really mean it. I took 800 photos now <laughs> don't be alarmed this is not normal the only reason i did 800 photos is because i forgot the camera has a timer so i set the remote on continue shooting and just went crazy because i couldn't do both i couldn't hold the flashlight spray the can and try to prop and get the the positions the way i wanted them to just use manual focus pre-focused on one of the pieces here on the on the puzzle pieces and then just went crazy taking images at the end of the shoot, I weeded through photos that did not have any concept or, or didn't look good. I ended up with 160. I narrowed that down to 80, and then I eliminated similar images. I ended up with 46. Most of the agencies have accepted all the way up to 40 images. I only have five rejected from one agency because of similar uh, images. There's one more agency, which I'm waiting for, probably gonna be six months before they review the photos but I got a feeling that most of them are gonna get accepted. This was a great run, great way to test this. Like I said, I never used it before. I saw it in a video and I could see a lot of use for something like this. Here's the yellow light, here's the blue light. You get to see the colors because of the fog. Now, everything became very slippery because this is mineral oil. I mean, it's the uses for this are incredible for video, for pictures, for concepts. And like I said, I never used it before, but I think these photos came out pretty good as an idea, as a trial run. That's why I always keep telling you guys to use stock. One tip I can give you is when you think you're done, when you think you got the photo you like most, keep going because now you're just getting started. <laughs> I did a few just simple with, you know, just the light coming through. Then I put the orange light underneath and even though it doesn't glow and you don't see the light as much, it gives you that contrast with the orange and the blue and I think it looks awesome. Then I said, well, let me put my finger at a, a different concept. Like I'm adding the, the final piece. Finding the piece of the puzzle. That's the concept. So what is that piece? It could be peace, it could be love, it could be investment, strategy. Anything could be added to that piece just written on a computer or as a, uh, as a title for the article. These photos, I believe, have a lot of commercial use and it's all because I wanted to try the photo fog. 
Now, I don't know how these pictures are gonna perform. I have a feeling they're gonna sell. When they do, I'm gonna pin a comment on top so you guys stay informed and you know whether these things are selling or not. But from every video that I made, some of those photos have sold. That's something that, you know, I, I like to do these tests because then I know if my advice is correct. And from every video I made, something has sold. I did, however, because I was using so much of this, I did take Bambi home. I brought her out here to, to be part of the photo shoot, but I was afraid this wasn't as safe as it says it is. <laughs> Even though it says non-toxic, safe for use indoors, I decided to bring her indoors because, you know, I don't know. I think it'll be a great addition to any photo shoot, especially when you got colors and the lights. You can see the atmosphere. You can see how things, how it could be very helpful for portrait shoots, for lights, for just a little bit more of a creative lighting style. That's a little bright on me here. Uh, in the background, if I use this LED light, put that back there. Let me see if I can lay it up. Something like that. You don't see it on the background, but now you can see the light. Anyway, it's just another way to add another layer to your photos. And it works best when the light is aimed towards the camera. I'll show you here real quick. That's when you see it the best. So you do have to play around a little bit with the light, where to shine it, how to make it look uh, creepy <laughs> or really cool, different color lights. I'm using different, I don't want to call them gels because they're not gels. But on these uh, LED panels, I just bought these. They're, they're different color paper, basically. They're just little colors to change completely the color of that light. It's just like throwing on a gel to a speed light. Uh, they're cheap and they can modify pretty much any light. Flashlight. You know, now we have a red light. Again, you don't need complicated equipment. All of these photos I did with this flashlight and these two LED panels, I probably could have used the, the loom cubes, the panel minis that I have, the Go panels, but I forgot. I just brought this out here to the studio, played around and got, like I said, 46 images accepted to most of the agencies or at least 40, uh, like a, a few pending review. But anyway, guys, this was just sharing something that I liked. I never used this before. I really like the results. I'm gonna put a link in the video description if you're interested. Uh, again, these are referral links and uh, it, you helped me by purchasing, but recommend it. The images look great. It's the only way I found where you can see the light besides using smoke or dust or something like that. But to be able to see the light, plan your shoots and be able to take the images like this, uh, in my opinion, this is totally worth the whatever it would cost. I don't remember, I'll pop it here in the, the screen. The one thing to keep in mind where you're using it on paper products like this, it's oil. A lot of oil comes out. So when you spray directly on your, on your prop, you're gonna see that oil, it's gonna get wet. So it took a little bit of photoshopping to remove all that. But I don't know, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think of the images. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would just bring in something new that I enjoyed and hopefully you guys can find some use as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I feel like I can do a, a music video now. <laughs>